Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sasrikal, welcome back to another session with your wash chef at Vareva.com. Today I am excited to make chicken shorwa. Shorwa, what I literally mean is making a sauce which is as thin as rasam and when you eat this with rice, it's really heavenly. So to make this dish, first I'm going to add yogurt to a bowl, add two tablespoon of coconut powder, one and a half tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of chili powder. I like to make this spicy, but uh, depending on how spicy you want, you can add that much chili powder and mix all this and make into a paste. The reason why I added, if you add yogurt, sometimes you may feel there is a curdle effect on your sauce. So just uh, I mix all this so there is no curdling of this yogurt. To this, you can add some water and uh, mix it up and make it into a pouring consistency so you can add to this chicken. Now add one tablespoon of oil. To this oil, add shahi jeera, cinnamon, cloves and cardamom and add bay leaf and add chopped onion. To this, add salt and we are going to cook these onions till they are golden brown. Today what I am making is called uh, shorwa that is uh, lot of sauce. There is a difference between shorwa and shorba. Shorwa is the thin gravy you can make with lamb, chicken or any vegetables also make into a thin sauce which is called a shorwa. Whereas shorba is a soup and which we are going to learn in couple of other sessions. Now you can see that these onions are uh, nicely golden brown. To this add ginger garlic paste, add pinch of turmeric. To this add chicken. After you add the chicken, increase the flame and uh, try to cook the chicken till slightly colored. To make this chicken shorwa, it is better to use the chicken with bone because that releases out lot of nice flavors and make your shorwa even more tasty. Now you can see that this chicken is slightly colored. That's when we are going to add this uh, yogurt and this masala mix and uh, you can also add some more water to this. Now. Add enough water to cover the chicken fully and also to make this thin sauce, you can add good amount of water. Just cover it up with a lid and reduce the heat little bit and let it cook in a slow flame for 30 minutes. Whenever you cook a shorwa like dish, you can even make this dish with lamb or chicken. Make sure you cook in a slow flame. This slow process of cooking will extract these nice juices into the meat and also add additional flavor to this dish. And uh, you can finish off this dish by adding little bit of garam masala powder and also coriander leaves. These added fresh coriander leaves give a nice flavor to a dishes which are thin by sauce. I have got this naan. I am going to put little bit of butter on my naan. I made this naan in the oven because I have got this nice uh, soupy sauce. So when you have a naan like this, you can dip uh, in this uh, soup. Mm, have it? Wow. Today I made this dish because I had a craving to eat this last night. So dear friends, you are lucky if I have a craving, you will get this wonderful dishes. Dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed to learn how to make this chicken shorwa with your washaf at vareva.com. But remember, vareva is all about inspiring.